Hello, kids. My name is Teacher Beth, and I will be your math teacher for today. Let's start our lesson. The set of whole numbers includes zero and the counting or natural numbers one, two, three, four, five, and so on. In this lesson, you will learn how to visualize numbers up to 100,000 with emphasis on numbers 10,001 to 100,000 using illustrations, blocks, or number disk. Before we start our lesson, let us have a short review about the lessons you have learned. Do you still remember how to read large numbers? Let's try to read the following numbers. The following numbers are read as 13,896, 23,544, 50,680, 52,567, 100,000. Let us also recall the place value of each digit in the number. Every digit in a numeral has its own place value. Let us recall the place value of 4,762,745. Starting from the right, the place values of a 7-digit number are the 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s, 100,000s, and millions. Don't forget the place value of every digit in a number because it is very important in reading and writing numbers. Have you experienced lockdown during the COVID-19 pandemic? How did you find it? Here is a report about COVID-19 update in the province of Rizal. Study the report and let us have a short discussion about it. Did you study the report, children? Now, let's answer the following questions. How many active cases are there in the town of Cainta? How many are confirmed cases in Cainta? Which town has the biggest active case? Give the exact number. Which town has the smallest number of active cases? What is the reason why there are many active cases in Cainta? What are the things that we should do to prevent the high surge of COVID in Cainta? Did you answer all the questions, children? Good job! Remember to take extra care in this time of pandemic. Wash your hands, wear mask and face shield, and social distancing is important. Let us help each other. Based on the report shown, these are the numbers of active cases and confirmed cases. There are many ways to understand and visualize how big the number is using the representations of blocks, charts, tables, and disk, we can be able to understand the numbers. Let's learn how to visualize numbers, read the paragraph, and answer the questions that follows. Now, let us see how big 24,647 is. How can we visualize numbers up to 100,000? One way is by using number disk. Here are the steps in using number disk to represent a number. Determine the place value of each number. Next, create a table separating the different place value of the number. Let us see how we can use number disk to represent 24,647. 10,000 place has a value of 20,000, represented by two this as shown in the table. Thousands place has a value of 4,000. Four this is used as shown in the table. Hundreds place has a value of 600. Six this is used as shown in the table. Tens place has a value of 40. Four this is used as shown in the table. And one's place has a value of 7. 7 this is used as shown in the table. 
Through the representations of numbered days, we can say that 24,647 is a large number. Another way to visualize a number is by using base 10 blocks. As you can see in the illustration, one block is equal to 1,000. One flat is equal to 100. One long is equal to 10. And one cube is equal to 1. Using base 10 blocks, 2,247 can be represented as two blocks, two flats, four longs, and seven cubes. Let's visualize 3,124 using both the number Ds and the base 10 blocks. Did you find it easy, children? Just remember how numbers can be represented. This time, let's do activity number one. Use base 10 blocks to show the numbers below. Next is activity number two. Fill in the data and give the number it represents. Activity number 3. Give the corresponding number for each statement. Activity number 4. Draw a number disk on your notebooks or paper to show or represent the following numbers. Were you able to answer all the activities, children? If you answered yes, job well done. If you answered no, don't worry. You can study again the lesson and do the activity. Remember this. To visualize and represent number up to 100,000, we have to separate our group by 10,000, 1,000s, hundreds, tens, and ones of a number. One way to represent the number is by using this and blocks. The value of a digit is determined by the place value it occupies. The place values of a digit and numbers up to 100,000 is based on the place value chart starting from the right. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. In reading a number, Always begin with the digits in the first period on the left and say the period where the digits are. Then, say only the digit in the unit's period. In writing a number in symbol, the digits are separated by comma or space in groups of three called periods starting from the right. Let's do activity number five. Write the letter of the correct answer on your notebook or paper. For your reflection, study the table that shows the data of COVID-19 cases at the given period of time based on the report of the Department of Health. And then, do the activity. Number 1. Represent the number of confirmed cases on May 13, 2020 using number DIST. For the number of recovered cases on the same date, use base 10 blocks to represent the number. Number 2. Think of a number between 10,001 to 100,000 that may represent a situation related to the COVID-19 pandemic. And number 3. In order not to be infected with coronavirus, what can you do as a member of your community? And that ends our lesson. Remember, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Goodbye, children. See you.